Hello and welcome back. This is Aitless John, and still got my glasses on. Let's change over to that. As an update to what's going on, I am reapproaching the bad guys here. And uh, during the holidays, my hard drive crashed. So yeah, there's that. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna see exactly how I was able to get this. To work and or not. Uh, if I can get this back up and running right, I'll be happy. If not, uh, I'll also be happy, but uh, less so. Oh, I blew up the bad. That that's not good. Oh, I blew him up and I didn't hurt him. Oh! Reload! Oh! Oh! What the? I am noticing some better love with my rifles than previously. With that uh, rifleman's expertise. Oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry, I didn't see you. You jumped right in front of me. That is entirely your fault. Oh. Come on. I'm glad that there's so many bodies there that they had to... <laughs> They were stopped by their piles of their own dead. In the Check your fire. Any luck, the problem I had with Frank not being able to heal, uh, he still can't heal. Alright, well, I'm going to loot up here and then talk to these fellers about joining the glorious Brotherhood of Steel and getting some of their cool stuff. I'll be right back. As if that wasn't enough, they can become feral. Degenerating into a wild animal kept alive by radiation, interested only in slaughter and Ghouls. gorging itself on whatever it manages to kill. It's a fate worse than death. Why ghouls go feral is still not entirely understood. You'd think that after two centuries, we would know what causes it, so we could come up with a solution. Our best guess is that exposure to intense levels of ionizing radiation or other environmental factors cause a rapid degeneration of higher brain functions and regression into a primal, feral state. Feral ghouls typically cluster in groups and attack whatever disturbs them, uttering a screech that lures other ghouls that will attack in turn. With the central nervous system atrophied, feral ghouls are not bound by human limiters on muscle use, making their strikes far more deadly. Okay. The process of ghoulification is sadly irreversible, and since they don't die out like humans do, feral ghoul populations have been a plague on the wasteland for centuries, from Necropolis to Boston. Social isolation seems to be a factor in causing a ghoul to go feral. Although it's anyone's guess just how impactful it can be. As communities of ghouls are also known to suffer from their members going feral. Okay, well that was interesting. Hey there. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? I'm just trying to survive out here. We could use an extra gun on our side. Oh yeah! I'll continue to help. But you owe me an explanation first. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The deep range transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Let's do it! Waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Uh, and then he doesn't do it. He goes inside. Halen, 
Take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese, once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. Then let me know when you're ready to begin. All Let's right. Move out, Let's people. do this. All right, big guy. Let's Here go. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I have thoroughly cleaned the place out. Oh. Sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Oh, so now we're supposed to be best buddies. Well, guess what? I'm not interested in making friends. You're hired help, and that's all there is to it. Yeah, I got I'll no problem with that. I'll be certain to keep out of your way, then. You do that. Now, why don't you run off and see if Top needs you to do anything else? All right, my cargo bot's going home. Where is Paladin? There he is. Paladin. You ready to move out? Yeah. Let's do this. Ready? Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. Yeah. Oh, I like the little helmet flip thingy. Off we go into the wild blue yonder. Da -da -da. I think I'm going to be using a lot of this today. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Ready for you. Let's go. Let's go shoot him up. We'll take this alley. Follow me. I say that, and then I immediately switch over to this, so... I'll probably skip a lot of this. Our jet is a short hike to the west. If we take this road, we should be able to avoid the larger packs of ferals infesting Cambridge. Traveling this far from the police station is a risk. But getting that transmitter up and running needs to be our top priority. If it was up to me, I'd relocate my team. But Scribe Halen detected some disturbing energy readings in the area that need to be investigated. Oh. We don't know much about them. Broadcast on a frequency only attainable with a high level of technology. We're concerned that whoever, whatever, is creating those energy readings might be a potential threat. So it's our job to investigate. Okay, let's go investigate, buddy. Uh, it looks like there's some bad guys up here. Yep. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. And again. There we go. Oh, look at that. Some cool stuff after all. It might surprise you that my recon team isn't the first to visit the common room. Over the last seven years, two other teams. Ooh, we got an update. That's nice. Mr. Gutsy is a militarized variant of General Atomic's ubiquitous Mr. Handy, and was commissioned by the United States Army in 2077. The pressing need for more firepower on all the fronts of the Sino-American War resulted in the conversion of a prolific worker into one of the most lethal combat robots ever designed. A combination of a small, heavily armored body, eyes on articulated arms, and up to three independently targeted weapons for use at every range make it an adversary not to be taken lightly. Not then, and certainly not now. Most Mr. Gutsies encountered in the Wasteland are permanently hostile. Due to a quirk of the underlying programming that defaults it to patrol mode in case it cannot connect to central command. The colorful sergeant major personality behind, is an aesthetic behind. touch. Though the gutsy's proclivity toward shouting insults at the enemy is a weakness, allowing Super combatants nice. to locate it with ease. The loadout of the gutsy makes it a prize robot for scavengers and organized actions, such as the gunners. Target eliminated. One of the most long-lived and ubiquitous robot models in the United States. The Mr. Handy was first introduced in 2037 by General Atomics International as a general purpose construction and maintenance unit. Following the Mexico City earthquake of 2042, it rapidly gained a significant market share. 
as a proven, rugged, and reliable model. The early GAI models, recognizable for their bulky barrel-like bodies, paved the way for the later, more advanced model. The advanced Mr. Handy model, developed in partnership with Robco Industries, was a more streamlined design. Boasting three optical sensors on articulated mounts and three flexible arms, it became a tremendous success, spawning no less than four distinct product lines. The basic Mr. Handy, popular with affluent families across the nation as a domestic servant. The militarized Mr. Gutsy and two medical models called Mr. Orderly and Miss Nanny. General Atomics eventually adopted the popular Mr. Handy as its corporate mascot, recognizing its nice. contribution to their success as a company. Unfortunately, there is no data available on whether the executives considered the risks of selling a floating tangle of arms with titanium power saws, flamethrowers, and lasers on the open market. Approaching, I believe this is our destination. Yeah, that looks like it. Even though we have to go through the fog. There it is, Arc Jet Systems. There shouldn't be any exterior security, so we'll head in through the front. And uh, this should be interesting. I get two with one stone. Another one out there. Where is it? Come on, dance. Do your dance thing. Oh, that was nice. All right. Good ammo. Weapon. Heavy armor. That's that's something I haven't seen in a while. Not gonna complain. Okay. I think dance. We should, we should go in now. Uh, let me get another band aid. Paladin dance. Listen up. We do this clean and quiet. No heroics. And Understood. Outstanding. Remember, our primary target is the deep range transmitter. Stay focused and check your fire. I don't want to be hit by stray bullets. I don't want to hit you with stray bullets either. In we go. Hopefully this will be more interesting than you are anticipating. It was or corporations like this that put the last nail in the coffin. The very reason that I uh, kind of souped it up a little bit games, and uh, pocketing the cash and ignoring the look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security has already been dealt with. You think that, wouldn't you? But then you come in here and you realize, ooh. All right. Paladin dance. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Good. Good. Less security to worry about. Negative. There's nothing good about it. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute synths. I'll be on the lookout. Roger that. Let's move out. Bum, bum, bum. I'll have to come back and loop this up before I leave. Dun dun dun. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. Yeah, good luck with that. I think I might get here first. 
hope I don't get all the cool stuff on the way in. Looks like a dead end. See if you can find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Alrighty. Alright, find a way to open the door. So we go over here. No way I'm cracking this. Uh don't have an auto cracker. Oh, there's the hollow tape. Yeah. Won't be able to hack this. There we go. Put the hollow tape in there. Remind. Please, yeah. There's the new password. Yay, how exciting. Okay. So now we use the password. Alright, everybody's set up. Security doors locked. Open. Open doors. Don't die, don't die, don't die. I don't think over there. Hello. Got him. Combat initiated. Is someone down to capable? Oh, I got a couple of them. Possibly. Really? Really? You gotta. These things are tough. Okay. Well, that didn't work like I thought it was going to. Just so you know. You must be perfect. Oh, didn't work like I thought it would. Okay, okay, let's try this again. I have the password. Entering password. Security door controls. Open door. Try to survive one more time. Nice work. I put a map right here. Detected. A bomb right there. Oh, bits and pieces everywhere. Alright, they look like synth gens. Normal synths. I was trying to make them look like stormtroopers and it didn't work. The second generation oh, synth is sad. an evolution of the first generation model with a host of mechanical and software upgrades. The most striking of these is a thick artificial skin supported by an underlying wire mesh. It covers the synth from head to toe, at least in theory, and shields internal mechanisms from the environment shrapnel and gunfire. Bodies, so bodies the most everywhere. important improvement is that it allows second gens to wear human gear, greatly improving their survivability oh and performance in the field. The institute uses them on the surface for a variety of purposes. Oh, resources. Swarms of second generation synthetics have been known to attack and tear down entire settlements to acquire raw materials. There we go. As well as assisting core servers in recovering third generation synths and slapping down the railroad whenever it surfaces. Many of these units operate on the surface for years, remain in a state of advanced Oh! even the entire portion oh, right, of their skin. Unload that. So that pretty much gets me back to here where I have cleared out the room and we have to continue on. Let's get out a real weapon since, you know. Come on, pal in advance. Movement detected. Curious. Hold up. Over there! Get him! Get him! You're in the way, buddy! Alright. Put out your little Oh buddy, you're right in front of me. There we go. Multiple synth targets. Don't shoot me! Don't kill me! Alright. Calculating. Most efficient attack. Well, this is Angel's John playing. Fallout 4 with Horizon. And I am in a world of pain and trouble. So. 
come back next time we continue our adventures. Until then, I will see you around.